Well, today you join me for the third instalment of my day ticket series and we're at the beautiful Churchwood Fisheries. There's three different waters here. We've got Jenkins that I've set up on at the moment, Churchwood and the Cat Lake. I walked around this morning with Steve, the owner, and he gave me a few pointers on how to fish Churchwood. So I've got the rods out pretty quick. Now we're just waiting for a bite. The weather's definitely warmed up from last week, although there still is a bit of cat ice floating around, so fingers crossed we can nick one today. It's important when fishing day ticket waters to not ignore the advice of the guys running it or the bailiffs. They're going to give you pointers, they want you to catch the fish and they're going to give you some help. Steve walked me around this morning, pointed out a few good spots that I've put some rods on, so if we don't catch anything today, Steve, it's all your fault. What a change from the other week when we were fishing. Although these lakes have only just recently uniced and the snow has literally melted yesterday. But Churchwood Fisheries, three very intimate lakes, beautiful looking place on the back of a guy's house named Steve. I've known about this lake for years, so I've known Steve a long time, but I've never fished them. I've started off on Jenkins Lake today. I'm gonna to do at least the morning on here. I ain't seen anything yet. The water's very murky and it's all in the edge fishing. There's another lake down there known as Churchwood and that is the main lake. Both lakes hold stock of quite a few 20s to low 30s. There's a catfish lake just behind me. Lovely little lake with some massive cats in there. And if you book the swim, you also get this beautiful lodge to sit in where you can drink tea all day. Right now, the heavens look like they're gonna open up. So we're gonna retreat into this lodge where we show you some of the fish on the wall that reside in these lakes. Great, we've got a little bit of a break in that rain. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the rig and the bait I'm using today. When coming to a day ticket, particularly like I am for the first time ever at a lake, I'm using what I'm confident in. In the winter, I'm confident in high-vis baits and maggots, so I've combined the two. I've literally dropped seven maggots onto the top of a hair, and I've got a high-vis pineapple there. And again, I'm using the drop-down rig, but this time in a slight variation, I've got the curve hook shape on, and I've got the weight underneath it and just a long bit of silicon tubing which allows that hook to just drop down and it's very aggressive, finds flesh very easy, it's really effective. Fingers crossed, the rain holds out and the fish come on. only just recast that rod to the corner over there. I just had a feeling about it and this had a big old liner. Definitely a carp is the culprit. Fingers crossed that's gonna go. Location is always key. So when I took the advice from Steve this morning, he pointed out some lovely areas that to be fair, if I'd come here, would have stuck out like a saw thumb anyway. Nice overhanging trees on the far margin where there's a deep gravel shelf at about six foot and then it drops off into deeper water. It's a lovely firm area. I went round there with a marker rod and I just dunked the lead up and down and found the shelf. Since then I've gone round, added a bit of crumb and maggots over the top and I'm doing everything I can to get a bite at the moment. 
The water was very murky on here today because they recently drained it down to remove a lot of silverfish. So I think the water's murkier than normal, but hopefully we're going to get a bite. So when you're fishing Jenkins Lake, you get the lodge just behind you, it's got a fully fitted kitchen, nice clean, full running toilets, and you might hear a chainsaw in the background because they're always maintaining this place. It is absolutely beautiful. This is most carp anglers' dream home. Check that out, a beautiful little Jenkins Lake mirror. Four big scales down her centre. So when you've only got a day, you've got to move rods about, try and find where the fish are. And like I say, I'd only put this one into a new spot underneath the tree, less than an hour, and it's torn off. Little pineapple bait topped with a few maggots on the pop down rig, and it's done the trick. Absolutely gorgeous carp. there you have it, a very short three part series about fishing day sessions on day ticket lakes. Really enjoyed getting out on these days. I've only managed to nick one or two fish every time but it's been great fun. I've been doing the same on my clubs and syndicates just fishing the days but 29th of March, fingers crossed, the Angling Trust have said we may be able to have night fishing back so we can get back to a bit of normality. I hope you've enjoyed this, picked up a few tips and I'll see you soon.